important. But then you have to realize the alt-right is tiny, 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 tiny. They're they're rare. They've admitted defeat. You know, Richard Spencer, said, I, I think he said this at Antifa 1 or something. He, no one showed up. He hit an event in Florida. 11 people showed up. I'm not worried about that guy. I'm worried about these fringe ideologies that are racist, intolerant, and violent slowly seeping into our culture. Like, when you see uh, politicians openly embrace like race-based government policy, it's wor- it really does worry me. You know, my I, I I think I have this perspective growing up in a mixed race family, where I've been insulted by the left for being white, and I've been insulted by far right racists for being you know a mutt, and so I don't like either of it. I really don't. But the white supremacist types are falling apart, and they don't threaten me anymore. They 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 just don't. But the left wing racism. And, the, and these ideas of racial equity and, and determining what you're worth based on the color of your skin are becoming more and more pervasive. The lawsuit with Harvard that that Asians have a harder standard, a tougher standard for getting in, even though Asians are a smaller minority than white people. Yeah. Why does that make sense? Why should I have to approach someone and justify my race to them? That terrifies me. It really does. And we, when we see Kirsten Gillibrand tweet the future is intersectional. Well, intersectionality is that ideology of, of race based policy. Ocasio-Cortez put forth, puts, puts forth the Green New Deal that says racial equity. I, I, I prefer to judge someone on the content of their character, not the color of their skin. Well, it's also that's the kind of talk that gets Trump reelected. Oh, God. And that's, that, one, that's one of my biggest pet peeves because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I've talked about progressive tax. I, I think we can do a lot for uh, public option, for expanding Medicaid. Uh, the, the idea of a Green New Deal at its core to me is fascinating. Can, can the government, you know, can we allocate tax money? to invest in new technologies, fusion, uh, nuclear, and reduce carbon emissions and do great things, can we make high-speed rails? But then when you come out and say, pay the unwilling and these other equity things and intersectionality, I'm like, that's, that's, not, that's not what I'm talking about. I can't support that. The unwilling is the most preposterous one. The that's, idea that someone's unwilling to work and we yeah. need to provide them with a living, is, that's insanity. I mean, that's the ultimate progressive bend. But, I mean, that's but, where it keeps going, but, where but, they're trying to out-progressive the next concept. But, but hold on. In a socialist or communist society, you still have to work. Yeah. I don't know what society exists where you expect people to undertake the greatest construction project in, in the history of humanity, a massive train network that makes all planes obsolete, but at the same time tell people they don't have to work if they want money. Yeah, well, this is what we're saying. It's like as these ideologies get more and more ridiculous, they try to out-progressive the next yep. step. Like it's a, a fundamental right for you to earn a living. And, and Pew, Pew Research recent, uh, put out a poll a w- couple weeks ago, Democrat, the Democratic Party, 54% want more moderate policies. So I'm, mm. I fall in that bracket. But yeah. still, you still have around 43 or so that want more left-leaning policies. But what that means is the party's split. And so here, here's the problem I see. If you're going to put me up, uh, if you're going to say, Tim, you got to vote, you have to vote. You have to make a choice. You've got a moderate conservative who believes things I really don't agree with. But he doesn't want to give money to people who don't work, and he doesn't believe in identitarian politics and race equity or whatever. And then you've got the Democrats who are so far left to me, I can't even see them anymore. Who do you think, you know, uh, social liberals and, 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 and liberals are going to vote for? The closest person to them politically will be a conservative. Yeah. That's what scares me. You know, we had this great future with a potential for a public option, for expanding Medicaid, for I, – I mean, look, I, I, I really do believe social programs are important. We can do more. I like a lot of what Bernie has to say. I think we need to reform education, but I think education uh, could be expanded. Again, I'm interested in the ideas. I, I want to advocate for them, but we need to figure out how to do it. But my poli- like where I fit politically, I'm politically homeless. I mm. don't agree with someone judging me based on my race. I've been through that. Hell no. Never again. People vandalizing my home because they didn't like that I had a brown mom and a white dad. I don't want to live in that world. I don't want you to look me in the eyes and say, I, I tell people, look at it this way when it comes to Harvard. I want you to look into the eyes of that little Asian boy and say, Honey, you can't go to Harvard. You're Asian. You look too much like those people. How does that make sense? Why is it that just because this kid looks similar to this kid, you're going to tell him he has a harder standard for, pa- for the SATs to get into the school? I just, I, I refuse.